So let's save this as Java FX grid pane example. Java FX grid pane example. So instead of creating an object of pane type, we're going to call this one grid pane object. And you need to organize your imports. Let me get rid of the get rid of everything between grid pane and scene because we're going to be building a brand new form here. And I'm changing the dimensions back to 500 by 300. <clears throat> So if you want to create an unnamed object, you can also do that. You can add to the pane an unnamed object, like I'm adding a label. It's called um, username. Now there are a few things to consider over here. Now when you're adding things to the grid pane, you need to do a placement. That I want to add this to the first row, first cell. Okay, so first row is zero, first cell is zero, just like an array, it's an array. So the first position is zero. Similarly, I want to now add um, a text field. So I'll say pane.add new text field and I want this to add to the second column of the first row so it's always column first row next make sure you're adding the Java FX controls okay then I'm gonna copy this and paste it underneath and I'm gonna make the username a password and instead of zero, zero, I'm going to say zero, one, because now I need to go in the first column of the second row. Uh, yeah, first column in the second row. And then I'm going to change the next one to password field. So it's going to be first column, first row. And you're going to organize your imports, of course for password field. You don't always have to have the unnamed controls added. You can also have a name control added. So let's say if I add a name control button reset equals to new button reset. And then I can add pain dot add reset to first column. Now let me try to run this application. And here you can see that username password are being displayed like that. Now, there is no gap in between them because that's something that we will set next, how to place them a little bit scattered. Also, what I want to do is I want to change my reset button to a login button and move my reset button to fall. Instead of falling here, I want it to fall here. You can do that in the grid layout in the old environment, but here you can do that. So let's change it to a password button. We're going to change the name to pass. And instead of being, being in the first uh, column of the third row, I'll change that zero to a one. Now it will automatically fall in the second column of the third row. Okay, so we'll say, second column, 
third row. Second, oops. This is second column. Second row. First column, second row. Second column, first row. First column, first row. So now when you run it after this change, you will notice that password actually falls under the password field. So here's my user and here's my password. So that's my password field and my text field. Next what I want to do is I want to learn about um, distancing them from each other. So we can use some padding and we can use some gaps. So let me go back up to my grid pane and I'll say pane dot set the horizontal gap to 6 and set the vertical gap to also 6 and this could be a double value as well it doesn't have to be a whole number so now when I run it you will notice that they're slightly spaced out okay now let's change the alignment here we'll say pane dot set alignment to position dot center so now when you run it you will notice that it appears right in the center of your pane now in order to do this in the swing OMG <laughs> And again, the look and feel can be controlled through CSS. Okay, there is one more thing that you can do. What is the alignment of the login button right now within its cell? Within its cell, login is left aligned, correct? We want login to be right aligned, but only login to be right aligned. So in order for us to do that, we can come up here before the login is added or even after it is added is fine too, it doesn't really matter. Um, all I need to do is call the grid pane class and it has a static method called set horizontal alignment and I can say I want my pass button to have a horizontal position of right. And now when you run it, you will notice that your login is actually right aligned. 